Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits. Find the limits when x approaching negative infinity for the function square root of 3x plus 1 over 6x minus 3. So it refers to the situation. First, what we have to do is to substitute the value of negative infinity. And we will have a square root of negative infinity over negative infinity. What we have now is the in determinate form. So the strategy to solve this kind of situation is dividing the numerator and the denominator with the highest powers of x for the denominator. So in here, the power of the denominator is x. So what we have to do is to factor out the x. Limits when x approaching negative infinity, square root. If we factor the x, and we will have 3 plus 1 over x over x multiply with 6 minus 3 over x. Kindly simplify the situation. So limits when x approaching negative infinity, square root of 3 plus 1 over x over 6 minus 3 over x. Do remember, if we have a situation 1 over infinity, and we will have 0. So kindly substitute the negative infinity into this part, and we will obtain 0. Same go to this part, we will obtain 0 as well. So as a conclusion, if we substitute the negative infinity, and we will have square root of 3 over 6. Simplify. Square root of 1 over 2. So we need to rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. So finally, limits when x approaching negative infinity for the function square root of 3x plus 1 over 6x minus 3 and we will have square root of 2 over 2 or you may express your answer in the form of decimal 0 0.707 which must be expressed in the form of 3 significant figure kindly refers to the example b Find the limits when x approaching 0 for the function x minus 2x squared over 1 minus square root of x plus 1. Substitute the value 0 into the function and we will have 0 over 0, which is what we call the in determinate form. So in order to solve this kind of situation, there are three strategies that can be used in order to solve this kind of situation. Number one, multiply by the conjugate. Number two, factorization. Number three, long division. So my suggestion for this type of question would be multiply by the conjugate, then at the same time, factorize the situation. Limits when x approaching 0, what we have to do is to factor the x minus 2x squared. Factor the x, we have bracket 1 minus 2x over 1 minus square root of x plus 1. Multiply by the conjugate. In here, my suggestion would be 1 plus square root of x plus 1 over 1 plus square root of x plus 1. Next, expand the situation. Do remember, only expand for one part, which is the denominator for these questions. So limits, when x approaching 0, we will have x multiplied with 1 minus 2x multiplied with 1 plus square root of x plus 1. Expand the denominator. Here we will have 1, then minus square root of x plus 1, plus square root of x plus 1, minus bracket 
x plus 1. Now what we have to do is to simplify the situation. So limit when x approaching 0 for the function x multiply with 1 minus 2x bracket 1 plus square root of x plus 1 over so in here we will obtain 0 next 1 minus 1 we will have 0 finally we have negative x kindly refers to the situation we have a common terms so meaning that we can simplify the situation so now what we have to do is to rewrite the situation so limits when x approaching 0 we will have negative bracket 1 minus 2x multiply with 1 plus square root of x plus 1. Finally, what we have to do is to substitute the value of 0 into the function. So here we will have 0, so meaning that 1 minus 0, which is negative 1. Then, substitute 0, we will obtain 1. Square root of 1, we will have 1. So in here, we will have 1 plus 1, which is 2. So finally, limits when x approaching 0 for the function, x minus 2x squared over 1 minus square root of x plus 1, the value of y will be approaching negative 2. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.